for coming out today. This press conference will be from prepared information concerning the identity of the Tarpon Springs officer involved in the shooting on Saturday, May 6, 2017, and the process which can be expected over the course of this investigation. Due to the ongoing investigation being conducted by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the State Attorney's Office, I will not be addressing any questions concerning the incident itself. I first want to express that a loss of life under any conditions is truly devastating. And although we are police officers, we are also human beings and we understand emotions. We empathize with the family and the friends over this loss of life. We will attempt to address issues with dignity and respect. Before we release the name of the officer involved, it is imperative to address an issue which has erupted, especially via social media, and that issue is misinformation. Initially, this was part of the reason that the officer's name was not immediately released, as individuals without facts began to make accusations and express inflammatory language that had to be vetted in regard to the officer involved. Since that time, the misinformation has continued from various individuals who do not have knowledge concerning the case, but will either disseminate a false narrative or fill in the unknown with speculation. For instance, individuals have falsely identified Tarpon Springs Police Major Michael Trill as the officer involved, which has been followed by malicious accusations being made about him, mention of going to the officer's residence, and mention of his family. And this is all based on false information, and quite frankly, it's unacceptable. Additionally, there is inaccurate information being disseminated that the subject was either unarmed or had sunglasses in his hand. Again, speculation, misinformation. This was not the case. It is to be noted that the weapon used by the subject was recovered and was entered into evidence as a part of the investigation by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. That's a fact. We urge everyone to cease the misinformation 
and allow the thorough investigation to be completed. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the State Attorney's Office investigation will be thorough. We ask that everyone allow these outside agencies to do their diligent work in regards to this case. Now, the name of the officer involved in the shooting on Saturday is Officer Scott McIsaac, M-A-C-I-S-A-A-C, who has been with the police department since 2011. Officer McIsaac is currently assigned to the patrol and is a field training officer with the department. He recently completed a crisis intervention training in April of this year. We have sent many of our officers through this training that deals with issues of mental illness. Officer McIsaac was placed on administrative leave with pay pending the Tarpon Spring Police Department's preliminary review of this incident, which is directed by our policy. We are a fully accredited law enforcement agency. Upon completion of the FDLE and state attorney's investigation, their findings will be released to the public. In addition, the Tarpon Springs Police Department, as per policy, will conduct an additional internal affairs investigation in regard to department policies and procedures. And once again, we follow best practices and we are a fully accredited police department. We additionally ask for understanding for the officer who is also dealing with this very emotional incident, as are those close to him. As noted before, misinformation can have a serious effect on individuals, so we request a respectful response to this incident. Threats towards law enforcement officers or their families, which only serve to inflame the situation and serve no legitimate purpose, will be thoroughly investigated by the appropriate authorities and handled accordingly. In conclusion, this type of incident is difficult for everyone involved and otherwise affected. We offer condolences to the family and friends of Nicholas. We ask that you allow the investigation, the investigating agencies, the respect to complete their duties in regards to this investigation and to allow the process to take place legitimately. I emphasize legitimately. We implore the public not to partake in the misinformation that is circulated by either disseminating false information or blindly believing it. When additional information is available for release, it will be done so in a timely manner and with transparency. Thank you. Chief, this is Jamel with News Channel 8. Can you tell us why the suspect was found laying on the ground for several minutes before anyone helped him?